Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. What the hell? It's okay from here. Everybody in. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny. You okay, man? until he starved to death. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. The name's Molly. Molly, I'm Lee. This is Kenny Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. What the hell happened here? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. Great. Just great. If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oh my god. Chuck, he must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. Look, sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. I had a daughter too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. Omid, honey. You're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clem's drawings. 
But where is she? Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. Whoa. I know, right? Krista, how you holding up? I'm okay. Vernon did what he could for Omid. But he's got a real infection and he's running a hell of a fever. I'm worried if we don't get some real medicine in him soon. You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. What the fuck? <laughs> Happened here. I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh god, oh god, oh god. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I think we know what happened to Crawford. What's that? I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. This is all I have left of her. can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kim, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got to both fucking kill! Kim, I said calm the fuck down! Now can we go? Before we leave tomorrow, Will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> we got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Thanks, Doc.
Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. <sighs> Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! out here it ain't safe Lee where's Clementine she's not in her room Vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's mine oh my god no way no no fucking way there's no time to worry about me Clementine's gone there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no no way then who the hell took her I don't know Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. 